Welcome back to another episode of What You Cooking Glenda. If you would like to be part of the G Hoop Squad, all you have to do is click that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're updated every time we upload a new video. Now, let's get into this video of my mother's green bean casserole. Enjoy! So on this cutting board right here, we have one cup of chopped onions. And on this cutting board, we have one three-fourth cup of chopped bacon. And that's going to go in a pot that is on a medium heat with some butter and oil. And it's going to be cooked until the bacon is crisp. All right, so as you can see in this pot, we have our bacon and our onions in there with a little bit of butter and some oil uh, in this pot. And then over here, back on the island, we have four 15 ounce cans of veggie green green beans that are guaranteed to stay green. Then on this cutting board, we have half a cup of cheese, one can of cream of mushroom, and some french fried onions that will be added as a topping on top of our classic green bean casserole. Now here we are going to be adding, back in this pot, we are going to be adding one tablespoon of flour in here uh, just to create like a little bit of a roux for our sauce our one can of cream of mushroom and one can of water So as you can see here, we are about to go ahead and add in our cheese, our, uh, yeah, our, add in our cheese. Um, it will uh, melt down the majority in the oven, so do not be scared if you see ch chunks of cheese, Jesus, chunks of cheese uh, in your sauce in the pot. Now, once you've let it simmer until it comes to a nice little bubble, uh, you are now able to pour it over your veggie green green beans. Uh, make sure you have your oven preheated to 350 degrees, uh, and you just go pour that sauce on over there. Would that look so good? Pour that sauce over there and mix it on in and prepare it for the oven, all right? And voila, here is the classic green bean casserole made by What You Cooking Mom. Uh, I enjoyed this dish. It was real good and warm and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. So make sure you try this recipe out and uh, make sure that you tag us on all of our social medias. You can check the description box for that. And I will see you next time on another episode of What You're Cooking. Glenda, bye-bye. I'm good.